Hello subscribers. Um, here I am again. Um, uh, I would like to continue discussing uh, computer appreciation. Okay, and uh, prior to such discussion, I would like to uh, introduce my uh, YouTube channel, Kuya Ig world okay actually my channel is uh, composed of several video contents i have a c programming tutorials i also have python programming tutorials um i also have you know my personal activities and uh, i did all these things and uh, um upload it here in my channel kuya igor and uh, in this particular video i'll be discussing um it application tools in business okay and uh, this is actually my second video uh, this is part two of a uh, uh, computer appreciation topic and uh, yes uh, on my on my previous video um, actually I, I was discussing about the definition of computer what is computer what are the different characteristics of computer the, the, the generations of computers right classifications from supercomputer up to right mainframe mini computer and up to now pc or laptop right and uh, in this particular video i'll i'm going to discuss the basic operations of a uh, computer inside the central processing and i'll try to look into the different input devices output devices and uh, storage devices and um, I'll try to check the different types of um, software, and uh, I'll also be dis I'll be discussing also the operations of an operating system operating system as against the hardware and the the software, right? So that's it. And uh, I hope um, the end of this video you'll be able to I'll be able to share and discuss the different uh, subtopics of uh, computer appreciation. And uh, at any part of this video, if you find it, you know, confusing and you have some questions, please um, do some comment, right? Or you can, you can, you can, you can send me a message, okay, through Messenger, and uh, I am so much willing to create another video for your concern, okay? So that's it. Now here, uh, by the way, I, I did use this, uh, this skills that in. I, I, I love the, the presentation of the topic and uh, here I would love to start my discussion by uh, by um, by the way my internet is not so okay I'm sorry but here that's it uh, I'll be discussing basic operations of a computer okay. there are actually three basic operations input process and output okay these are the three basic operations in computer. Now, what is input? Input is actually the process of entering data and instructions inside the system, computer system. And uh, it involves three steps. Number one, accept the list of instructions from the user in a particular format. Then from this, converting this into an instructions that the uh, computer can, can understand and then the third one is supplying the instructions to computer systems for processing okay so that's that's input all right now for example you are trying to send letter a to to the system or cpu and when you press letter a by using keyboard letter a is being sent to the central processing unit all right so the moment you feed in a that's an input and when a goes inside the central processing unit okay it is being processed and converted into a machine understandable uh, language right and uh, we are all aware right that uh, pc can only understand zeros and ones it's binary system so from letter a it is being converted into binary system and then after processing it okay send it to the screen or the monitor and literally comes out so that's input process and output 
So input is a way of you know uh, entering data out from nowhere to the keyboard and goes inside the CPU. Okay, the heart of uh, computer system. And uh, process is I did discuss this uh, already. Process is you um, CPU is trying to to convert all right anything out from the keyboard to make it understandable by the machine and like i said um binary number system is the language the system that's being understood by it right so a process is actually it is an actual process in the cpu that takes place on the data as per given instructions okay anything that is feed in from the keyboard or any any input devices which i'm going to discuss later that will be converted into a machine uh, understandable language process it right and then uh, release it to the screen and that's output right? the next um, part is output what is this output the process of output of data from the computer system it accepts the results produced by computer whatever is the result of the processes inside the central processing unit anything that will comes out on the screen or even in a speaker that's output okay uh, it converts the coded form to human acceptable form okay so from keyboard goes inside the central processing unit that's process and when, when, it, when it goes outside the monitor that's output and it must be what a coded form to human acceptable form understandable by you because when we are to look at series of zeros and ones we cannot we cannot get it we, we cannot understand it so okay. what the, the the computer did is they try to convert literally into a bi binary system and then process it and then release it to the screen convert it into a human readable form or uh, language okay that's input process and output. Now I have here a, a black diagram of a computer. So these are actually what input devices. So I'm going to discuss what are those input devices and then it goes inside the CPU or central processing unit and CPU is divided into three the storage unit okay the memory and then the control unit and uh, arithmetic and logic unit. And from here, it goes outside and that's output device. Right? So this is actually the basic operations of computer. In input, process, and output. Right? So that's it. And uh, the next one is what? Uh, what are those input devices? What are those input devices? Okay. I I am going. I'm sorry, my internet is so slow. I'm sorry, but uh, then I'll try to 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 Google some input devices. All right, I'll try to look at it. There's so many in there. Okay, these are actually the different input devices we have here. All right, mouse, keyboard is an input device. Scanner, are you following? Microphone, anything that goes inside the central processing unit that that is input device. Light pin for anything signature or what? Joystick, trackball, barcode scanner, and the OCR reader. These are actually input devices. And these input devices will are, are being connected to the central processing unit for possible processes. Okay, so here, uh, when we say keyboard, there's a lot. Uh, there's so many parts in here. We have right, alphanumeric keys, modifier, and so on and so forth. I'm not going to to discuss this one in detail. We have the mouse also, right? And as you move the mouse. Right, as you move the mouse, there's mouse pointer that is also moving in unison with the movement of the mouse. Right? Then we also have scanners and so on and so forth. But, so these are the different input devices when we talk of uh, computer system. Okay, and here 
Um, what's next? The next one is output devices. So we'll try to make use of Google. We'll try to look at the different output devices. Okay. So here, um, I'm sorry. We have printer. Printer is an output device. Monitor or screen is an is an output device. Headphone. Okay. Microphone is an input device. Headphone is an output device. Sound card. Um, screen projector. Okay. GPS location is an output device. When you're when you're traveling and you're trying to go to somewhere that you are not familiar with, you can use GPS. Speaker is one of the output devices. Platter for AutoCAD are, is also considered as an output device. Okay, so uh, an input devices are actually things that feed in data to the central processing unit, and anything that got, goes out from the central processing unit, any devices that caters for those things after the processing, are all. Um, output devices okay so that's it and uh, I have also here what are those storage devices okay there are actually several storage devices also okay and uh, the room and ROM I'm not going to discuss this one in detail uh, read only memory and random access memory uh, actually, in, in IT, uh, this one will take one day for discussion. But since uh, this is just a minor subject for commerce, we'll just not, I, I'm not going to discuss this one in detail. Alright? Basta anything, anything that is capable of storing something is considered as a storage device. Uh, floppy disk, for example. Um, hard disk. Alright? CD. Those are um, um, storage devices, and they are uh, uh, being used to store something, right? When you are trying to do some menus, right? When you are trying to create uh, memorandums or resume application letter, and you're going to save it, you will be needing storage device to store your 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 data. Okay, that's it, and. Uh, the next one is uh, I'd love to discuss these um, types of um, software. So there are two major types of software, system software and application software. But I'd love to go in deep with this or detail with this one. All right? Now, what is this system software? System software is actually a software which control the operation of computer system. All right? And uh, actually, system software refers to OS or operating system, which I'm going to discuss in detail on the later part. They directly interface with the hardware of the computer system. System software is controlling the behavior, the attitude of the hardware. The mouse, the printer, the monitor, the central processing, the, the CPU, all those devices are being controlled by system software all right and they provide platform over which application software runs okay um, you cannot use any application softwares without having a system software and OS which I'm going to discuss uh, later in detail and there are a lot of operating system now we have MS DOS all right this operating system we have MS Windows, all right, XP, and we have Linux. In mobile application, mobile cell phone, we have Android. Those are system software or operating system, right? And uh, the next one, the next uh, um, is application software. What is this application software? Like I said, there are two types of software, system software and application software. Application software, these types of software fulfill a specific user requirement. They run over system software. Okay. They are actually dependent to system software. 
Okay? Without an operating system or system software, you cannot use your application. Now, application programmers developed an application software. One good example is um, MS Word. Alright? Microsoft Word is an application software. And it's being developed by Microsoft programmers. And this Microsoft Word is dependent to a particular OS. And good thing because Microsoft is also creating their own OS and that's Windows. Okay? So without Windows, you cannot use your uh, MS Word. And you cannot even use your MS Excel. Spreadsheet. And you cannot even open your notepad, right? Or anything without an OS or operating system. Okay? So it is somewhat like uh, an operating system is okay wherein you cannot get inside a particular home or house without a key in a operating system. Because an OS or operating system controls the behavior, right, the attitude of the different hardware, mouse, keyboard, and anything. Okay? So when you, when you save a particular file, OS comes in, right? Operating system do some do the scheduling as to when to save and when not to save after clicking. When you are trying to click save and at the same time you are trying to click print, right? You are printing. OS will comes in for the scheduling. Okay, so that's that's how important is system uh, software or operating system, right? And we have a lot of applications of application software in the market. We have this word processing software. Notepad, WordPress, um, uh, MS Word, right? We also have this spreadsheet software as part of application software. MS Excel, okay? Um, what is this? Lotus 1, 2, 3, right? Those are uh, spreadsheet software. Database management software, so many. Access, Oracle, right? Oh. And so on and so SQL, those are database software. Presentation graphics software, so many. We have uh, PowerPoint, okay? And uh, communication software, these are actually part of application software. And uh, this communication software is used to exchange information electronic, electronic, electronically. It is most commonly used software to send and receive information on the internet. Okay, and then we have some other software uh, uh, application software like utility software, custom made software. What is this? Custom made software. Custom made software actually software fitted to a particular establishment. For example, payroll system, inventory system of a particular company. Those are custom made software. All right. So that's it. Uh, there are um, two applications, uh, software, system software, and application software. And now I am going to discuss the last topic of computer appreciation. Okay. And uh, after this, I would like to end my video and. Uh, if you have some questions, uh, feel free to do some comment on the video. Okay? So what is an operating system? Here. An operating system or system software is what? Which may be viewed as an organized collection of software consisting of procedures for operating a computer and providing an environment for execution of a program. Okay? So... Um, I have here a graph, okay? So if this is an operating system, it controls and communicates with the desk drive, the storage device, and it communicates openly with application software, MS Word, Excel, PowerPoint, AutoCAD, Photoshop, and so on and so forth. And an OS also is communicating with the monitor, when to display letter A, when to display a particular information and an OS at the same time is also communicating and controlling the keyboard 
when you type letter A, it goes inside the central processing unit and it goes outside the monitor as letter A. Those are actually being controlled by an OS or operating system. An operating system also is controlling the printer. When you click print, OS will comes in to right to acknowledge the command and send signal to the printer to do something and print it out. And OS also is communicating with the mouse. Right? So that's how powerful is an operating system. And I would like to repeat, there are lots of OS today. We have Windows, we have what is this uh, Android, right? We have Linux, and so on and so forth. And in terms of applications, there are so many. In our um, in our cell phone, there are a lot of applications in here, and the applications are all being controlled by an operating system, which is an Android. Okay, so I think. Um, I'm done discussing with uh, computer appreciation part two. I hope I was able to discuss the topic well. And if there's some questions, there's some doubts, please feel free to comment on the video. And I'd love to create another video for you. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this video. God bless us. God bless you. God is good. Goodbye for now.